Welcome back to the Charismatic Voice. I recently heard John Farnham for the first time, and he was good. But there's something about his voice that sounded like it could do even more. It just sounded limitless. And sure enough, in your comments, you all insisted that I needed to check out his cover of Help to hear more. Shout out to subscriber TFA who wrote, you haven't listened to John until you've heard him sing the Beatles classic, Help, from the same concert. One word, epic. Epic, huh? Okay, I'm in. Let's get to it. Here's an oldie but a goodie. When I was younger, so much younger than today, I Thank you. completely caught me off guard. Whoa! That's, uh, you know, I said that it sounded limitless, but you just don't expect it to be that limitless. Well, okay, we're gonna go back to the beginning. Uh, had a lot of other things to comment on, but whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Here's an oldie but a goodie. First thing is, it's very surprising how slow this is to me. Like, the original is really upbeat for such sad lyrics. <laughs> what are they chanting? Okay, it's a gorgeous vocal entrance, but he actually starts his entrance to the performance with this eye contact ahead of time. He approaches the mic and is just there and looking at everyone, already inviting them into his song. That's, that is a beautiful example of how you start the performance, not just with your voice, but with everything else that you do. With that smile and the openness, oh, eye contact is so important. Walks up, walks up, and engages with the eyes. Wow. And the smile. <laughs> when I was younger, so much younger than today. I love this time. <laughs> There's just something so affable and genuine in the way he goes out to the audience. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys really know this. You really want to sing it right now. Let's let you have the spotlight. It just makes me grin so big. <laughs> yeah. I'm Look at that. He's like, he's surprised. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just 
love his entire personality. <laughs> Thank you. this moment like several times because holy cow holy cow <sighs> there's so much we can learn from him right now and I do appreciate you. okay just look at how his body shifts to support that and I'm So there's, there's a big breath ahead of time, and then it actually sinks down a little bit as he goes up to the snow, and you actually see like a little tiny tilt as well. You can tell that he's not just thinking about the sound going out, because if you just slam it out, it's gonna crack. Like, instead there's a feeling of up and then back out. <laughs> I'm shocked by the vowels he's able to achieve there too. Wow. And also jaw drop, super important. Like the, the mouth, we're gonna look at his mouth shape a lot because even in the first few things that he's sung, there are some gorgeous, gorgeous mouth shapes that we can learn a ton from. Okay, let's go back a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you being around. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you Just so impressed by the way he wails through this. It's like a combination of like incredible classical singing and then this contemporary forward focus. And then you also get a little bit of that edge, that grit on it, like to just make this overall tone quality totally delicious. <sighs> I wanna go back one more time. I know. Go back to the scene. Thank you. Here we go. Help me. So he's, when he leans into his consonants, you hear this like pressure that almost builds up and gets redirected. Consonants can act as like little mini SOVT exercises, semi-occluded vocal tract exercises, where they'll reflect a little bit of air pressure back. And if you use them as these sort of anchors, they can actually help you to achieve higher notes with less pressure right in here. Like, helps to equalize and stabilize it a little bit. Thank you. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. Oh and I do appreciate <laughs> you so being right. <laughs> Help me get It's like, 
it's like a little Whitney Houston with that fullness in the sound, but I like the, it feels really tasteful how he'll do a little embellishment and just like cut it off. Almost like he wants more, but it isn't willing to give into more. But then the way he's approaching these high notes, I just, I, I keep thinking it can't get better and then it does get better. It's insane, insane. I'm gonna go back, oh my gosh. And I love the way that this has essentially become a ballad. Somehow it feels like that was more suiting to the original lyrics. I mean, that was, I guess that's part of the appeal of the song Help, is the way it feels like there's a juxtaposition between the vibe of the music and the lyrics. Uh, lyrics are just like so, uh, they're a plea for a help, but then the vibe is positively peppy. And this has got that, like you hear the plea coming through in the music more. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm freaking out about his mouth shape over and over. There are some really good reasons why. When you open your mouth and sing. There's so many things in your mouth that can go wrong to just destroy the sound. And I see so many things going right in his case. Most notably the tongue, it's, it tends to be very high. You just don't see the tongue pressing down a whole bunch in the back. And when you're singing super high like this, the the larynx is going to rise. There's so much breath pressure underneath. It's creating this incredibly powerful sound. The larynx tends to rise up. And then a very, very common, very bad habit is for the tongue root to engage and push that larynx back down. It's like, no, 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 stay down. Ultimately, the support for that larynx needs to come from low breath support. But so many people don't have that down well enough. And so they engage the root of their tongue as a sort of like secondary bad support system. And it leads to all kinds of problems. His tongue position is glorious. And then the way that he's engaging his body is glorious. And the way that he opens his mouth to let out that sound is glorious. <sighs> I love the way he has these like cries or like little weepy moments into a sound that again it reminds me of this operatic approach where there's a certain like sobbing into the sound at times. And that kind of sobbing can be really helpful for finding a beautiful connection here with the vocal folds. They go wacka, wacka, wacka in a very primal, healthy way. It also can help engage your whole body to support that sound. <laughs> But the whole, you yeah, have like the whole band, the whole orchestra, everybody is just there. I was noticing there's a really cool counter melody that happened from strings earlier too. But I, I feel like every single moment I'm listening to him, I'm loving something else that he's doing more and more and more. 
It's like this thing and that thing and that thing. There's just so many amazing things that he's doing. Wow. Um, you guys were totally right. This is already epic. And we just got to the halfway point. I'm going to go back. <laughs> like that. It just seems so easy. I've heard a lot of people say that they think a saxophone is the closest instrument to a voice. I definitely love the way that this vibrato came in. It felt very vocal in a lot of ways. And I think the readiness of it is not that different from function of the vocal folds. There's a lot of things that are very appealing in a saxophone sound. So anyhow, we're going to go back one more time. Does this sound like a human voice? Like, is it the closest to a human voice? I'm curious. Let me know in that premiere chat. Like, the way it puts distortion on sounded like John Farnham, right? the way he just let it all quiet down I thought he'd start on a low note but <laughs> wow out of the bag with that kind of high wailing right away it's so connected I swear to you if he wasn't connected to his support he'd be splatting all over the place oh my gosh like, the way he looks at the audience too that moment right before it's almost like the audience is helping to ground him. like I'm having problems believing it. And the way it's, it's just so cool how he adds that little bit of gravel in there at times. I feel like it makes it like just, you feel like this person has lived a little more life and that works for these lyrics so much younger than today. <laughs> wow. Uh, this delivery of the lyrics is incredible to me. I love this entire concept of covering this song. Okay, 
the way he just popped off self a shirt in there, but kept it in the entire line. It's like, it, his support system is never dropping, yet he uses it in a way to also help with these like agile runs. It's not rigid, even though he's seeing these massive, powerful lines. It also is always live and able to just trickle down in a run. It's, <sighs> He even goes a tiny bit sharp there. The best of ways, the ways that I love. <laughs> the, woo, woo, it's like oh my I, the mouth is open there and the way he seems to be enjoying it, it's like a smile but an ooh at the same time oh my gosh just like freaking poster boy for mouth shapes oh my gosh it just sounds like so much fun There's so much gospel element in what's happening throughout this, but I want to go back just a little bit. That moment. I really like that moment. And that's because as he's singing that note, I, I like the pitch sustaining, the energy with it, the vibrato. There's so many great things about it. but. The tone quality as it shifts through there is really cool. Like it feels like there are so many different ways that he's pleading as he's singing, please. <laughs> I feel like my hair doesn't belong on my head anymore. It was just blown away by John Farnham's incredible voice. Whoa. Like, I knew it was good, but I didn't know it was that good. That was such a good recommendation. Oh my goodness. Please keep making amazing recommendations like that in the comments below. I loved that so much. If you want to see some other songs that just totally blew me away that I was totally not expecting from all kinds of genres too. Check out this playlist over here and may you fall more in love with music every day.